Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing how to render squirrel fat. YouTube has its issues a little bit, so I just have the processed stuff right here. These are two squirrels. This is one uh, big one, and then this is a little smaller one. S still, both of these are over five years old, but it's just different uh, sizes. Comes around in the winter. Uh, you get more in the winter um, whenever you like squirrel hunt and stuff uh, you get more fat in the winter on them because they're, they're uh, packing up for it's warmth like a seal or something all you do is you pop it in like a pan. This is my uh, mesh kit. I usually do this inside, but uh, my dad doesn't really like that. Uh, there we go. I let it thaw a little bit out here. This is a real hot fire, too. So. Let's see. I think the um, color of the smaller squirrel the fat on it is a lot better. The color, but uh, the, the big one. Now that's some pretty good stuff. So all you do, put over the fire. You just like slowly cook it till the, um, it crisps up. It almost looks like pork rinds, almost. Um, or cracklings. Actually, another thing is cracklings. If it looks like something called cracklings, then it's ready. But you're pretty much making that. But th this is pretty good. I'm gonna come back and show you a little closer. All right. There is a bit closer. What it looks like the one that's closest to the camera. It's the big one, and then the one in the back's the small one. Like they're. they're this is good stuff if you want to fry up some natural meats and stuff. And you, well, like if you want to, you could fry up a squirrel in this. And my brother actually has a video. I'll put that in the link in the description. Uh, frying, I think it's called frying squirrel and uh, squirrel fat. Alright, I'm removing it. There's the rubber cat. Take it off. Gonna let it cool and then put it in a jar. 